Let's move on now. New revelations show the U.S. National Security Agency collects almost 200 million mobile phone text messages a day from around the world. Leaks from NSA whistleblower Edward Snowden show the agency uses the messages to extract data on the location, contact networks, and credit card details of mobile users. Reports say the program, codenamed Dishfire, collects, quote, pretty much everything it can. Dishfire works by collecting and analyzing automated text messages. It is also able to work out phone users' credit card numbers using texts from banks. The NSA gives London access to search the collected metadata of British citizens. Well, to discuss that further, we're now joined by Robert Naiman, who is the Policy Director with Just Foreign Policy, and he's joining us live now from Urbana. Robert, as always, thanks for joining us. Now, how disturbing uh, do you believe are these latest revelations about the NSA? Well, I think what's most uh, disturbing to me uh, with this re revelation and so many others is the uh, complete mismatch between what we know now about the NSA activities and what we knew before Edward Snowden's revelations at a time when the U.S. government and other governments were telling us that there's nothing to be concerned about. You know, there's just some hysterical people there over in the corner. Uh, making up things about the NSA. We're not doing anything illegal. We're only focusing on uh, dangerous uh, terrorist suspects. This is just about protecting you from terrorism. Now we know that that was a lie. This program is way beyond anything to do with spying on suspected terrorists. And this recent revelation is an example of that. They're collecting data from people without a warrant, without any probable cause or suspicion, people who, as far as we know, are law-abiding citizens of the United States and Britain. Um, and uh, we wouldn't know this if it hadn't been for Edward Snowden's uh, revelations. We wouldn't know the tremendously broad scope and sweep of this program that is far beyond terrorism 